Okay, we showed you a minute ago about uh, just uh, doing smart session, that kind of thing. Now we're going to get into what we call multi-session. There's a couple different features in multi-session we want to go over. First thing we want to talk about is the ability just to add multiple display clients to your uh, terminal configuration wizard. So what we're going to do is right now I've got one called Calc that's already applied. I'm going to add a, about three more on here. I'm going to add desktop on my primary. I'm going to add, uh, actually let's make it desktop on my secondary. I think I've already got the other one applied somewhere else. So let's do variable drives doc and then let's do even notepad. So we'll have those four on this particular thin client. Now uh, I'm going to get into the tiling mode here in just a second, but I first want to show you that we have the ability to actually have multiple different ones. I've got a couple different hotkeys um, with control page up and control page down to be able to switch between the two. Um, got my username and password set up in there and then finish. That's all I have to do. So now I'm going to right click, restart on supervisor terminal, click on yes. We're going to shadow this. So it's going to come back up here in just a second where we'll be able to see what's going on. So now when I shadow this, I've got multiple display clients available to me. you notice that I've got calc right now up on the top. If I do control page down, it's going to switch over to the desktop on my secondary. Control page down again, it's going to do the variable drives dock. And then control page down again, it does notepad. And you can see over here, these little lightning bolts went from yellow to green each time I did my control page down. I can also just select those from the menu bar up here at the top. I can do variable drives dock at this point in time, or if I wanted to, I can do desktop on my secondary. I can do it from here or do the control page up and control page down. Uh, the next thing I want to show you that's similar to this on the multi-session side of things, this is another feature that we can do. It's called tiling. Now, if we hit tiling and enable it, I can do the tiling options. I can say I want the, the tile display to start at startup, okay? And then I want to turn right click on so that I can get in and out of my um, tiled mode at any point in time. I could even make tiling interactive if I wanted to. So we're going to click on that, click OK. We're going to click on finish now that we've got tiling enabled. And I'm going to right click and restart so that that takes effect. What's going to happen now that we've got four of these um, display clients available, we're going to have a two by two grid that pops up on our uh, shadowed session here. So we've got uh, the calculator app, the desktop, the variable drives dock and notepad and notepad if I click on it you can see I come in here and I can type in it um, if you can't see that very well I'll change the, the font for you so you can see that a little bit better I'm gonna make that let's see 20 or so click OK so there we go now you can see those a little bit better but now if I want to I can go back into my tile mode by hitting right click and everything that I've done even though I've gone back into a tile mode I can still get to any of these things if I want to come back in here and do some calculation in my calculator, I can do that, right click and go back out, go back to notepad and make any other changes I needed to in notepad. Once again, I'm just typing a bunch of junk in there, but just so you can see what's going on and I can right click once again and it brings me back out into the tiled mode. So what we've done now is we've shown you what we call multi-session and then on top of that we've got tiling enabled so you can see all of those sessions on one screen if needed so you don't have to use multi-monitor. But we are going to come and call uh, go around and talk about multi-monitor in one of their next videos. So uh, be looking for that. Thanks.